something about the way you move. Hello everyone, what's up? And welcome back to my blog. And in this video, I'm going to take you to a beautiful island in Negros Occidental of the Philippines. I rented a bike so that I can take you to the different parts of the island and check out the different tourist spots and resorts so that you will have a picture of what to expect if you're going to visit Sipawai Island in the future. So let's go. Here in this part of the island, uh, this is one of my favorite because uh, it gives you the uh, tropical island vibes and I love how the trees line up along the road and it's just uh, make me feel good. This is most certainly not scripted. <laughs> And by this time it's almost lunch and I got hungry so I decided to stop by the highest rated restaurant in the island. That is Hukad Seafoods restaurant in uh, Sipawai and that's the highest rated restaurant in the island and I 100% recommend it it's delicious and affordable and as I was riding around the island I noticed that most of it is made up of limestone so maybe before uh, the whole island was underwater, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but yeah. Oops. And here we are going to check out a tourist attraction of the island, and it's called Buhisan. It's a limestone rock formation, and 
Yeah, uh, I was told that it's a nice place to visit, so let's go check it out. At first, I went with this kid, Mark, but we got lost, so we turned around and I asked his older brother to take me to Buhisan. By the way, if you're going to visit Buhisan or the limestone rock formation of Sipawai, you need to put on your shoes, don't use slippers, sandals, because the path that you're going to walk on, it's going to be limestone. So it got sharp edges and your feet can get wounded and that can ruin your vacation. So remember, wear shoes. I'm already with Mark's older brother, Ryan, and he took me on this path, challenging path, to a place called Ermita, which I will show you later on in this video. But this, uh, this part of the video, it's uh, nice to watch uh, so that you can see uh, this, uh, this path, which is already destroyed because of a typhoon but still if you want if you want adventure it's still a good place to uh, to visit and just challenge yourself I've been trying hard to keep my cool but when you need there's nothing that I can do when you're walking in I know it's true I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice, my walls come down Boy, you are the only thing I want There must be a way I can make you see That if we fell in love, it would be so sweet But when it's you and me, me, me Nobody can bring us down, bring us down And for our next destination in the island, we are going to a place called Ruins, but it is uh, only known to the locals as Pang Pang. Hi. So make Hello. sure to remember that it's Ruins or Pang Pang. Hello. <laughs> And if ever that you are going to get lost, like me, you can always ask the locals and they are more than happy to help. Hello ate! Dito ba ruins? Ruins! Beach daw eh! Beach te! Oh! <laughs> Blue wave ba yan? Hindi, dito pinapunta eh. Pang-pang, yan yun. Okay. Okay, tingnan lang te. Kawai. 
Come on, Yeah. Thank you. Ah. So this place that we are going to visit next, this is one of the best attraction of Sipawai Island. And it's a must see if ever that you're going you. to visit the island in the future. So just sit back and enjoy. Hello. Kasha bike. Oops, oops. Sandito pang pang kuya. Ah, diretso. Asa pa punta to? Wala. <laughs> Ito kuya to? Okay. Thank you. Hirap magbike. <laughs> It might be intimidating to some to go straight in this kind of uh, area, but don't worry, uh, in Sipawai, you will be safe. And there will be locals around if you, well, in case you're gonna get lost. Woo! You must also know that there's a lot of stray dogs in the island, but don't worry, they're, it's perfectly safe. Uh, they are used to people and they, they won't even bother you but sometimes uh, they will follow you and maybe you can give them food or just let it be there will be a gate here in this area but don't worry just go straight and you'll be fine When we arrive in Pangpang Pang or ruins, it's still low tide, oh. so you can't really see the real beauty of the, the area. But as you can see, the beach is white sand, and I believe that it, it's a really good swimming spot. So if you want to visit here in the future, you need to ask the locals about the high tide and low tide times of the island. I was told by the locals that the name Ruins is from the tourists that visited this area. And this area is used to be a resort, a beautiful resort, that got destroyed by a typhoon. I guess that the owner decided to just let it be. But still, uh, looking at it, it's still beautiful and still has a lot of potential. I started from Dap Dap Wharf area, that's the main port of Sipawai Island and from there to here you will need uh, at least two hours for me to get into this uh, other side or other end of Sipawai.
Hey, what's up? This is already the second day. One day is not enough to go all over the island. That is why if you really want to enjoy and appreciate the whole island of Sipawai, you need to set at least three nights to stay here. This place is called Talisai and this is in the other side of the island from the ruins and in this beach, in this area, this is where the locals usually come and swim and if you want, you can also come here, set up a picnic and take a swim. Talisay Beach, there's a highly rated beach resort and it's called Yolo Parana Beach Resort. Usually tourists and locals alike comes here if they want a more private and more safe swimming area and that will only cost you 20 pesos per head and that's less than a dollar so that's pretty much uh, it's worth it. This resort offers hot cabanas and a netted swimming area but as of December of 2023 they don't accept overnight stays yet but I still think that this resort is a nice uh, place to visit here in Sepawai And here's Kaimito Port. It's one of the six ports of Sipawai. They said that this port is mainly used by fishermen, local fishermen of Sipawai and it's uh, it's just nice to put it on my checklist to visit all the port of the island
and our next destination will be the Centennial Tree of Sipaway Island. It's a big ballet tree and it's uh, one of the major attractions here in uh, the island. But first, we need to eat and thank goodness that I found this eatery. Uh, this eatery is amazing. They have local favorites like uh, maruya, adobo, and fried chicken. They also serve some salads. The pancit is great. I love the pancit. I also love the meatballs. They make their own meatballs. So I recommend the meatballs, maruya, and the pancit. 100%. It's very good. You will love it. I promise you that. Did I already tell you that the maruya is really good? It's a fried banana. You must taste it. You must. And after that delicious meal, we went straight to the Centennial Balita Tree of Sipaway Island. And this tourist attraction is inside the campus of the Sipaway National High School. And don't worry about going in because they are open uh, to tourists like me and like you in the future. And also, if you got lucky, if the, the school is on recess, you will have the chance to interact with the children. The tree really feels majestic and the locals told me that it's uh, an enchanted tree that sometimes they hear noises from the inside of the tree and they even told me that at night they sometimes see apparitions or shadows from around the tree they also say that someone from before tried to uh, cut down the tree but they all got sick and they said that if you're going to cut it down bad luck will follow you well if you ask me enchanted or not why would you cut down such a beauty And about the age of the tree, no one can really give me a straight answer, but what they are sure is that the tree is hundreds of years old. Our next destination is Kateking Beach. This is a local public beach here in Sipawai Island that tourists like us don't usually know about. But since you are watching this video, now you know. And if ever you're going to visit Sipawai Island in the future, make sure to drop by. Despite the loss, I'm over here, gotta get across. Whether you like it, like it or not, there is a moment meant for us. And now you made it, but I already played this. Not interested, open your eyes, let's get it done. Take my hand, just follow me. Shadow me, I won.
As I was riding to our last destination of Sipawai Island, I passed by a group of students who is playing Sepak Takraw, also known as Sipa in the Philippines. And this is our national sports here. And if you haven't uh, heard about Sepak Takraw or Sipa, this is the time to learn all about it. It was fun watching those kids. They're really skillful as you can see. They can hit those kind of shots that I can only dream of. So I can only hope that you guys uh, like what uh, you watch, that uh, Sepak Takraw action. Unfortunately, we need to move on because I want to catch the sunset and I want to show you the best spot to watch the sunset in Sepawai Island. This is Ermita Pier and this is our last destination in Sipawai Island and this is the best spot to watch the sunset go down in the horizon and that's it for this video I hope you like it and I hope that I made you want to go visit Sipawai Island in the future and of course if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell icon if you want to see our next vlog about the resort that I checked in in Sipawai. And I'm telling you, it's a really nice resort. 